Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water reservoir in a Maytag refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver and a 3 8 open inlet wrench. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new water reservoir. This water reservoir is located in the fresh food compartment behind the bottom drawers. It stores water, allowing it to chill before being dispensed. If you find the water puddle on the bottom of the fresh food compartment constantly, that would be the good time to check the water reservoir and replace it if it's cracked and leaking. Get to the back of the fridge. We need to remove the rear access panel. Using the quarter inch nut driver, first take out one screw that holds the water inlet line and then take out the rest of the screws that holds the panel. Remove the access panel. Place the towel under the valve. Using the 3 8 inch wrench, press down the locking collar and pull out the left tube from the valve solenoid. It's the reservoir inlet tube. Remove the towel. Now we're moving to the front of the fridge and opening the doors. Pull off the grill. Use the opportunity and clean it. Locate the plastic tube and the coupling in the left corner. Place the towel under the coupling. Using the 3 8 inch wrench, press the locking collar and remove the tube from the back of the coupling. Let's get inside the fridge. We need to remove the lower shelf by lifting it off the hinges. Pull the upper drawer off. Lift the front end and remove the glass shelf. Be careful not to break the glass. Pull the lower drawer out. Remove the bottom glass shelf. Here is the old reservoir mounted on the rear wall. Using the quarter inch nut driver, take two screws that hold the old reservoir out. Pull the lines out and remove the reservoir. This is the old water reservoir next to the new one. If you can see, they are quite different, but trust me, you can install it and it's going to work. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Insert the plastic tubes into the openings. The short one on the left and long one on the right. Fit the tubes in until there is no slack left and then using the quarter inch nut driver, secure the new reservoir to the rear wall with a screw at the top. Going to the back of the fridge, locate and route the long tube along the right side towards the front of the fridge. Insert the short tube into the water inlet valve Make sure it's tight. Install the access panel with the top edge under the lip. Secure the access panel with the quarter inch screws. Secure the water inlet line with a single quarter inch screw. Move to the front of the fridge, remove the towel. Fish out the water line and insert it into the coupling. Make sure it's tight. Install the bottom shelf. Slide in the drawer.
install the tabula shelf. And slide in the upper drawer. Now we can put the shelf back in. Install the grill, place the side tabs into the clips and push it in. Turn the water on, plug the fridge in and check for leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.